this Technology Explained video, we're going to cover some common valve train terminology, from lift and duration to the differences between commonly confused terms, such as lobe separation and intake center line. Let's begin with lift. Lobe lift, or tappet lift, is the amount of travel by the lifter from the zero location on the camshaft, or base circle of the cam at zero, up to the nose of the cam lobe. This measurement, multiplied by the rocker arm ratio, generates the gross valve lift figure. The formula looks like this. Lobe lift times rocker arm ratio equals gross valve lift. Net valve lift is the actual lift of the valve. This lift can be determined by subtracting the valve lash dimension from the gross valve lift figure. Rocker arm production tolerances can vary this figure by as much as 15 thousandths. The formula for net valve lift is gross valve lift minus valve lash. When discussing valve train terms, it is important to understand where the base circles of a camshaft are located. Base circles are the concentric or round portion of the cam lobe where the valve lash adjustments must be made, also known as the heel. We will now move on to duration. Duration is the amount of time the lobe is creating lift, measured in degrees of crankshaft rotation. In other words, it is the number of degrees of crankshaft rotation a cam maintains beyond a given tappet lift. As mentioned, there are two key components for measuring duration. The degrees of crankshaft rotation and at what point of lift or rise the measurements were taken. Advertised duration is not taken at any consistent point of lift or rise, so these numbers can vary greatly. Duration values express the 50 thousandths lift or rise, state the exact point that the measurement was taken. These are the only duration figures that are consistent and can accurately be used to compare camshafts. Also commonly confused are lobe separation and intake centerline, although they are very different measurements that control different events in the engine. The lobe separation angle is equal to half of the angle in the crankshaft degrees of rotation between the maximum exhaust valve lift and maximum intake lift. It cannot be changed after the initial cam grind. The intake center line is the angle and crank degrees between a cylinder's piston coming to top dead center and the event of maximum intake lift. Exhaust center line is the angle and crank degrees between the event of maximum exhaust lift and the cylinder's piston coming to top dead center. These figures, unlike lobe separation, can be changed when degreeing your camshaft. We hope you now have a better understanding of some of the most common terms used when discussing your vehicle's valve train. For a complete list of valve train terms defined, visit us online at compcams.com, at cpgnation.com, or check out the CompCams Master Catalog. Also, be sure to like us on Facebook.